How's it going everyone? I'm Boone. Welcome back to another episode of Tuesday Tools. For this week's episode, I'm going to look at one of my favorite topics, which is maps. More specifically, we're looking at a tool called Map Route Generator. Now this After Effects tool is going to allow me to quickly and easily put together a 3D animated map path. Now I can really customize anything and everything here, including the marker, the path, the locators, the way the camera moves, and this is all done in one simple panel. Now, if you want to pick up your own copy, just follow the link in the video description. Now when you purchase this product, it comes with two After Effects project files, one for 4K, one for Full HD, and it also comes with a script file. So everything you do, you're going to need to do in these projects. Now one more time, let's take a look at the final animation that I'm going to create here. It's essentially a plane leaving from France, traveling to three other French islands, and it's going to stop at the second and third location for one second, and each location is going to have these text elements pop up. So let's recreate this. All right, so I'm inside of the After Effects project here, and you'll notice there's just a ton of stuff going on here, and I've already gone ahead and run the script. So if I go down here to File Scripts, you can see here is the Map Route Generator script. So I'm going to go ahead and click this, and it's going to bring up our Map Route Generator panel. Now this project doesn't come with any map graphics, so that's the one thing we need to bring to the table. So I happen to have a map graphic here. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this into my project. And I already have this comp open that says your map here. And if you look down here, it says place your map here and turn it to 3D. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. I'm gonna grab my world map, bring it down here, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the S key and we're gonna scale this down. Now I can scale it down quite a bit, but I'm just going to keep it right here because I want it to be a little bit zoomed in here on the specific areas which I'm going to be traveling to. Now I'm going to close this. Now if you don't happen to have a map, you can just do a Google search for free vector maps and that'll put you in the right direction. You can find some stuff. And now I need to make sure that I turn the 3D layer on. So if you look down here, we have the 3D button here. I'm just going to turn that on. Now we want to add the locators. So I'm going to go over to my map animation comp. I'm going to turn off title action safe. Let's zoom out a little bit here. Now to add locators, if you look over here, there's an add locator button. And right now you can see this is all grayed out. So I need to start, uh, first I need to create these locators. So these locators, we once again, we have four locations. So I'm going to go ahead and click this four times. And you see as I'm clicking it, these locators are added down here as pre-comps. And they're added to our comp here. So I'm going to go ahead and rename these. The first one will be leaving from France. Then we're going to a little island called Martinique. Then we're going back to Corsica. And then a little island off the coast of Madagascar is where we'll end up. OK, so first I'm going to grab the France layer. I'm going to kind of loosely put that over France. Now I'm going to grab my second one, Martinique. I'm going to position that right over here. Martinique is somewhere in here. This isn't exactly a specific map. And we're going to go back to Corsica, which is right here. And then we're going to go down to the Reunion Island, which is, I think it's that one. OK, so now I have these in place, renamed. These are all ready to go. OK, so now I'm going to create a path between these locations. And to do that, I need to select these locators down in the timeline panel. Now it's important that we understand that the order in which we select this is going to determine the direction that the path is traveling. So what do I mean by that? Essentially, we want our plane to start in France and fly from France, go down here to the Caribbean, then go back to the Mediterranean, then go down back here and end up in Africa. So we want it to go chronologically in this order. So I'm going to grab France first, and then I'm going to hold Shift and go down. So now we know it's going to go in that specific order. That's why I named them in that order. So with these selected, if you look over here, we have a Create Path button. It's as simple and easy as clicking this button. And now we can see our path down here. I'm going to zoom in on our panel. And when I click the path, you can see these Bezier handles. So I can make adjustments to the path if I like. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Confirm. So once that's confirmed, you can now see there's an airplane here. And if you look down in the timeline, there's a couple of new elements. This airplane is our tracker. We have a camera path. We have our main null layer. And then we have a path uh, shape layer. And if I scrub this ahead a little bit, you're going to see that our animation is starting to take life. We have movement here. We have our camera movement. We have our path. And our tracker is being animated. And if you look over here in the map route generator panel, you can see it's no longer grayed out. We have all these options available. 
So let's jump in and start to tweak some of these. Actually, let's first take a look at this animation and see what it looks like in its entirety. Okay, so that's pretty cool. It's looking pretty good right now, but we can make a lot of fine tune adjustments with all these options here. So let's take a look. First is how the camera moves. If you looked at the animation here, you can see that the camera was kind of following along with the path. Well, we have a couple of different options here. I can have it rotate around the tracker. If we select this and then watch this. You can see that it's moving along and um, kind of rotating on its axis there. Or I can set it to free camera, and that gives us more of this, uh, you know, closer to the plane, more 3D look. And there's random seeds, so if I don't like that, I can just keep clicking this, and it's going to keep making adjustments. I can manually adjust the altitude of the camera. Bring it down closer, and I can change the distance. All right, so now I want my airplane to stop off in Martinique and Corsica, these second and third locations, for about a second during the animation. So we'll have, we'll, when the text element pops up, the airplane will be, you know, come to a complete stop. So if I go down to the timeline panel and I hit the U key, I'm going to look at what's going on with these keyframes. So you can see right now, it's just a simple location keyframes with the plane flying around. And it's six seconds in length. And that's telling you right there, the animation duration is six seconds. So to have it stop in these second and third locations, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to change this from 3 to 1. And then I'm going to go down and select the Martinique and Corsica locators. And I'm going to press this stop on selected points button. And now if I zoom in and look at my keyframes, you can see I have some hold keyframes. And our animation is looking good. It's extended actually to be about 8 seconds now because we have the 6 second animation duration and we added two stop points which are each a second in length, giving us a total of an eight second animation. And now I'm gonna actually go to the 10 second mark, and I'm gonna trim that work area down because our composition is really, really long. Okay, let's take a look at this. Okay, that animation is looking really cool, but now we get to the part that is really, really fun. I can customize the tracker, the path options, and the pins. So. What I want to do first is I want to change the altitude and the distance here so we can really see what's going on. Give it a little bit of an angle, bring that camera nice and close in. Now if you look down here under options, we first have tracker style. This is going to allow us to change this icon here. So right now it's set to airplane. I can change it to a paper airplane. There's a couple of different presets. Arrow one, two, three. I have a blinking or flashing dot. Uh, and there's also custom. So if I select custom, you go over here to trackers in the project panel. You just open up this custom panel and you can throw in whatever you want, position it, and then you have this. If you want it to be a car, if you want it to be a picture of your face, <laughs> whatever you want. But I'm going to stick to airplane. Now we have this depth of field button, which is very, very cool. So watch what happens here when I enable depth of field. It's going to give us some um, blurry shots here, you know, give us some depth. Let me turn this more so you can actually see. So you can see here as I toggle this right here, look at all the detail here. When I turn it on, now we have that fall off. Even here with this word, Africa. Now I can change the path from this solid line to a dotted line. I could change the color of the path if I want. I'm going to bring the thickness down a little bit, make it kind of thin. I can turn off that shadow if I want, or I can just simply change the distance of it, bring it closer to the planet. I like that distance. Now for the locators, I can switch those to pins. There's nine different presets, but I actually have to go in here and select one. So I'm going to select France, and then if we go to pin and select OK, it's going to switch that, and then we have that pin there, and I can go ahead, go to scale, I can scale that down, and I can change the orientation because sometimes when your camera's moving around, uh, it might get lost. Uh, let's see. Look at the couple of different pin options here. Some pretty cool stuff. And once again, just like the tracker, I can use a custom one as well. But again, I'm going to stick to locator. Okay, for the next step, let's add our labels for every location. We want to have a little text graphic pop up, letting us know where we are. So if you go over here, 
and look at this folder called Info Tabs. I'm going to open this up. Now we have a number of different categories here. These are all the different looks that we can um, use. So if you want to get a quick preview of all these, click on the Text Preview Comp. And now we can see this here. And this gives us, this not only shows us how they look, but it also shows us uh, the animation that we've got going on here. So I'm going to use uh, single text line style number three. Now, since there are four countries, I'm going to need four different versions of this. So I'm going to go to the single text line folder. I'm going to close this. And now I'm going to look at number three. Let's open that up and see how it looks. Okay, so it's got this little animation here. So let's go to the title and just go ahead and type in France for the first one. And now I'm going to duplicate this three more times. And now we can go to this one. We can type in Martinique for the second location. And the third location, we'll type in Corsica. And then for the fourth, we have Oh, I can't use my accent mark. Oh, well. All right. Now let's go ahead and close all of these. And now we need to bring them into our map animation comp. So I'm going to grab all of these, drag them down. We can put them right above the path maybe. Okay, so they're all kind of huddled up in the middle here. We need to position them correctly. So the way we do that is if you look down here, it says connect info tab with selected pin. So first, I need to grab the first one, which is France, and I'm going to control click and highlight France. And now I'll simply click this button, and it'll automatically apply that right to that location. Let's say we don't want that animation in. We can just grab uh, this one here and drag it forward so that it's already up. There we go. That's better. I'm going to move this back. Now, for the second one, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to Martinique and Unfortunately, the stop point renamed it. So let's see if we can rename it again. I don't know if this is going to mess anything up. Let's just find out. Because when you add that stop point, it renames your comp. Okay, so now I'm going to grab the Martinique one, which is the second text. I'm going to control click Martinique. Go ahead and connect that. And then I'm going to do it for the others as well. Corsica, connect, and reunion, connect. Now they should all be in place. So let's have a look at our animation. Actually, before I do that, I need to reposition these because I want them to pop up as the plane arrives. So let's go ahead and click on the U key and see these animation keyframes here. Okay, so here's where it arrives in Martinique. So I'm going to go and I'm going to grab the Martinique text, which is the second one here. Drag that over. Then I'll grab, go to the next location. That's the one thing I don't like about this is this uh, this window is kind of, kind of gets in the way. I wish it was dockable. It doesn't look like it's dockable. Okay, I'm going to go to the third text, drag this here so that it animates on appropriately. And let's see how that looks. Okay, animating on. And then the final one, reunion, we can have this one animate on right here. All right, now we can have a look at the animation. Now these are all looking pretty good. So I rendered out three different animations here. The first one is set to the follow path animation. The second one is rotate around tracker. And the third one is just in free camera mode. Now if you notice, I still want to make some changes here. For instance, the text just isn't working for me. This yellow color, I don't like it. Also, you can see in the rotate around tracker camera animation mode, um, I can't really see some of the text elements. So I need to change the orientation on some of these. So let me show you how to do that. Here we are back in the project and I have it set to rotate around tracker. And if I go to the end, you can see right here this reunion uh, uh, text element. We can't see it at all. So all we need to do is go down and open up the transformation properties of this text element and adjust the orientation, the Z orientation. If I spin it around like this, now it is visible. And I once again, I said I don't like this color. So if I just open up the controls here, I have a control layer. Let me open up the effect controls panel and I'm going to adjust the text color to white. And now let's take a look and see. That's much better. Now I can go ahead and do that for all of these. 
there you have it. There's how you can quickly and easily create a map path animation. Very, very customizable, very, very nice looking, cool. So once again, if you wanna pick up a copy of this, just follow the link in the video description. If you like the tutorial, hit the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.